How's it going, everyone? It's Harvey from Weather Sponge 5000. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the more long term winter weather conditions the United States should experience during the late to mid December timeframe and determine if we could see colder and snowier than average conditions, as it seems like all signs are pointing towards the fact that we're going to experience much more colder and snowier than average conditions for the a large portion of the United States during the mid to late December timeframe. We're going to take a look at several different factors such as the computer models as well as the current patterns that are building as we approach the month of december but before i begin make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather economy so let's begin by taking a look at the cfs climatology model which is pretty much a long-term um compute a uh, long-term um, forecast model that forecasts weather conditions for the more long-term future i'm talking about weeks to months rather than let's say um a forecast within in a week so the, the cfs model does um is able to forecast conditions for the more long-term future and if we were to take a look at how the conditions or at least how the cfs model forecasted the, con the average temperature to be right now for the united states we do see that the cfs model expected much of the eastern half of the united states to be much warmer than average as well as the southern half of the united states which which is currently happening as a result of a strong suddenly flow that we're seeing around the eastern half of the united states but we do see colder than average conditions for much of the western half of the united states more simply the pacific northwest where of course we have been seeing a multitude of troughs move through bringing a strong northerly flow associated with those troughs moving ashore which is bringing cooler than average conditions as well as plenty of snow especially in the higher elevations however if i were to continue um, to move forward in the more long term future by week two we begin to see the cold air begin to move further eastward as there is a possibility that we could um, evolve into more of a positive PNA pattern which would shift the cold air to focus in more on the eastern half of the United States or at least a majority of the United States and bring slightly warmer than average conditions along the west coast of course by the um, week two time frame which ranges from December 6th to December 13th we aren't necessarily seeing that for the east coast um, and the um, warmer than average conditions for the west coast just yet but if I were to continue to move forward, we completely see the cold air now begin to shift its focus more on the eastern half of the United States, where the week of the 13th, we begin to see the cold air now approach the east coast, which could lead to more snowier and colder than average conditions, even comparing it to what you typically experience during the um, the middle the middle part of December, as well as the la um, later part of December, where we will see this cold air continue on and impact the northeastern portion of the United States and especially bring much colder than average conditions to the northern Midwest. Of course, the CFS model isn't always completely accurate. Of course, it, um, the, um, you need to take it with a grain of salt because sometimes these computer models don't necessarily get the right historical data regarding um, or at least um, synthesize the right historical data that would um, allow for a correct um, prediction to be made however um it's more likely than not we will at least experience cooler than average conditions by the time we approach the middle to late december time period which would allow for the uh, much higher possibility of snowstorms that's for certain and as well as much warmer than average conditions right along the west coast as a result of a pattern change which where we're expecting to evolve from a negative pna pattern to more of a positive PNA pattern which would allow the cold air to move further eastward and the warm air to move further westward so that's going to be something to keep in mind over the next several weeks so for those hoping for snow right around the eastern half of the United States this could be your possibility um, headed into the mid to late December time period once we begin to see the cold air sh um, um, shift more and more towards the eastern half of the United States so that's only something to keep in mind um, for for the next couple of weeks now let's take a look at how at the next 
couple of snow events that should move through the United States over next week and determine if we could see any potential significant snowstorms, at least in the short term future. So based on what the GFS model is stating, of course, you should expect heavy snowfall around the higher elevations of the Rocky Mountains, as well as Cascade Mountains and even the Sierra Mountains of California. And then we will begin to see that snow move into the northern Midwest, bringing some moderate snow right around uh, uh, Minnesota. North Dakota as well as South Dakota and um, however um, after that we should primarily see the jet stream stay far north enough to prevent the snow from moving very far south outside of maybe the northern Midwest and of course the higher elevations of the West Coast but we will begin to see the jet stream dip more and more as we head more and more into the long-term future and we even do see a significant snowstorm develop of course this is very very far out over over two weeks out so definitely don't take this model run seriously or um, don't at all panic at this snowstorm scenario since it's way too far out to really determine if this could occur but the point is that we will begin to see more pronounced jet stream dips once we head more and more into the mid-december time period which would allow the areas that haven't necessarily received a major snowstorm yet to finally receive one as we approach the mid-december time period so that's going to be something to keep in mind over the next several weeks now Take a look at the Arctic Oscillation over the um, over the month of December. Uh, you do see that the forecast is that we're expecting to shift more into a negative Arctic Oscillation phase after mainly hovering around neutral when it comes to the um, oscillation. But now we should expect the conditions to get a lot colder, um, potentially a lot colder and snowier than average thanks to the fact that a negative Arctic Oscillation is expected, which which forces a jet stream to dip further southward, and there's much more likely of a scenario where the polar vortex would meander further southward, bringing that those colder and snowier than average conditions to the United States to, of course, enhance the possibility of the United States receiving snowstorms. This, as a result, uh, um, because during a negative Arctic Oscillation, we typically see the jet stream wind weaken which allows the cold air to have more of a possibility to move far southward without being trapped by those very strong westerly winds that are typically present during a positive arctic oscillation during a negative arctic oscillation we see a very weak ridge um, bermuda ridge and a very weak greenland low which does reduce the um, wind speed when it comes to the westerly winds which allows the cold air um, to move for a southward without necessarily being trapped by the westerly winds while for a positive arctic oscillation the opposite happens so based on this fact we should expect that by right around the mid to late december time period where the negative north atlantic oscillation will peak that's when we should expect colder and snowier than average conditions for much of the united states and another factor we're definitely going to need to uh, pay close attention to as well is the Pacific North American pattern where we do see that um, over the next several weeks. Again, the forecast is that the uh, negative North uh, Pacific North American oscillations should take place. But as we approach more and more towards the late December time period, um, this um, this pattern is expected to evolve more into a positive pattern, which would promote colder than average conditions for the eastern half of the United States, but at least for the early part of December, the conditions should favor um, um, the west coast when it comes to colder and snowier than average conditions, but it won't be long before the um, oscillation recovers to more into a positive phase, and we will see that cold air shift more and more to the east coast, especially since a uh, negative north, um, a negative Arctic oscillation is expected to build as we approach the mid to late December time period. So, uh, positive Pacific um, North American oscillation and a negative Arctic oscillation should co almost coincide with each other, which could create a worst case scenario where we, we see much colder and snowier than average conditions for the United States. And taking a look at what typically happens during a positive PNA, we see a big ridge right around the West Coast, which um, brings um, typically does bring warmer than average conditions to the 
West Coast while during a negative PNA pattern, we see um, a, we see a more of a jet stream dip right around the middle of the United States, which does um, being somewhat colder than average conditions to the eastern half of the United States. But so that's only something to keep in mind um, when taking a look at the PNA pattern over the next several weeks that colder than average conditions are expected to build for the United States. Um, now taking a look at my forecast when it comes to um, the potential of a colder and snowier than average um, mid to late December. So I so based on the patterns we've been taking a look at as well as the um, the climatology models such as the CFS model, it seems more likely than not we're in for a colder and snowier than average um, late, mid to late December for much of the eastern half of the United States. So you should expect more major snowstorms and while the winter may seem quiet right now when it comes to um, um, when it comes to cold temperatures and snow, expect that to change by the time we approach late December. So definitely keep that in mind over the next several weeks. But anyways, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content. I hope you guys have a great day.